interview is one where the applicant doesn't know he's being evaluated. <laughs> but I've watched you since the other day at the lottery. <laughs> You're a brute. And in times like this, I could use a brute. What do you want, Fink? My labor unrest is coming to it. <laughs> now, Fitzroy has got the jungle all riled up. <laughs> A man like me could have use of an old Pinkerton like you. Find Shen Lin and get the hell out of here. Now, now, all I ask is that you finish what you started to it. Elizabeth! Wouldn't want to disappoint the other applicants. Our first candidate is a veteran of Peking. Now, what's that they say about old soldiers? <laughs> Frankly, my money's on you. Hey, something of an old hand at handling explosives. Only man I know who hasn't <laughs> lost a limb working with them. <laughs> I'm looking for more. Yet. You need salt. My, my, my. Quality work. Take this. Much obliged. That's all I have. That's it! That is it! By that sort of ambition, my boy, will serve you well at Fink Industries! This young go-getter is a former devotee of Lady Comstock! But without the old gal, they don't know quite what to do with themselves. Pick this one up in a hiring fair for a song. Sorry, that's all I got. We're getting. 
Not interested in your job, Fink. Now, now, I do know it. all you about go. your little job for Fitzroy. But do you really want to take her offer over mine? Do you know how many people would kill to be head of Fink Security? <laughs> You're a tough nut to crack, Mr. DeWitt. A tough nut. <laughs> but I promise you this. I will get what I want. There's a door over here. I think that's the way down. Interesting. I had thought you a fool, dear brother. When you told me that you heard wonderful music trumpeting from holes in the thin air, I began to doubt your mental integrity. But not only have you made your fortune from these two dads, you have lit the path for me as well. better already. Need money? Thank you. 